How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? How y'all living? You love me, don't let go. Oh. <laughs> we uh, we are about, we are about to go. What was that? We're about to go uh, get some new iPhones. It's been a long time coming. No, it hasn't. It hasn't been that long. But it feels like it because y'all know Apple's phones, they start not working. My phone's literally been overheating and going crazy. When a new phone comes out. So, anyways, we got Little Man. What's free? Let's step in. All right, let's go. Little Man is with us, as always. This is really our third wheel. He is really it's our cool. new third wheel. Usually Destiny is our third wheel. I know. I love him. I love him, too. Wait, I'm cold. Up or down? Uh, up. Let me see a fit. I need a... Oh. I like the, you got the Uggs. We got the pants from American Eagle. American Eagle. You, you got, got me this wherever you got it. For wherever I got it. It's from uh, Rumored. In this hat. You styled me. Thank you for styling me every day. Cherry LA. I don't like any of my clothes. Okay. Uh, what were you about to say? I said I don't like any of my clothes unless you style me in them. Then I like them. Savannah wants me to be her personal style. Uh, I are. thought she was joking. No, you are my stylist. I haven't done nothing yet. You go to that Chipotle all the time, though, all the time I've gone once. I always see you going there. It's so good. You and you all, this way, this way. We need to get puffers out. It's like freezing. Y'all, it's like maybe in the 40s, 50s. Like he's a chat, right? <laughs> 40s, 50s, and this girl talking about oh my, my gosh, phone. I'm going to bring this big wagon. Is it? Can we put it in the. Um... Sure, yeah. Can we wear the diaper bag, actually? Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Here, I'll hold that. Okay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Wait, you can't. Oh, Zeal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it can always fit. Quick pit stop. Hey, we're kind of matching. Ooh. Me and you, because I, yeah. you have a blue hat and I have a blue. This is really cute. This is from this brand called Rumored. Maybe you guys know about it, but Josh got me a bunch of new clothes from there. You know that's so funny because usually, <laughs> Babe, oh, I, I just feel like this. <laughs> usually, oh, I got this. I got it. I got it. Like, it. it like brings me comfort. Okay. <laughs> um, usually, men. Our husbands, sometimes. Actually, you gotta get it. Or uh, they be like, oh, my wife shop for me, gets me. I don't shop for Savannah. I just did this one time. You do. But that should. sentence coming out of your mind, out of your brain. Let's wait till we get it shot. Out of your mouth, really, um, really doesn't. Okay. All right. It is actually, it actually is. <laughs> Savannah, you're too much. It's extremely too much. Baby. Hey, we in the streets of Portland. It's Hold out here. I'm going to Gucci. I'll see y'all later. Wait, who, who, you got Gucci money? <laughs> Gucci flip flops. Oh, <laughs> okay. Are you getting a color case? Or are you going back to your clear case? No, or staying with your clear, clear case? Clear. My clear case. Clear case. Oh, is what? It got all dirty. Yeah. Okay. If you guys don't make the vinaigrette sour cream mixture at Chipotle, you're doing it wrong. Okay? That means Josh is doing it wrong. The Chipotle king. That's crazy that, that I refer to you as that. That is crazy. No, that means you're doing it wrong. Like, you can't be trusted if you don't like Chipotle's vinaigrette. Um, okay, for starters, I'm trying to show them my <laughs> mixture. You gotta just do like that and you get a little Can mix. Can you tell them what's in it? No. Oh. You know what? Why don't you just stay over there? I am. Okay. Dang, my lemonade is watery. What? So, today I got tacos. I alternate between tacos and a salad with shredded lettuce. And the thing is, even when I don't get a salad, I still get the vinaigrette. Because it makes any chipotle meal. So what you do, any crunchy taco. I just get the soft tacos until I got hip to the crunchy tacos. Got hip. I really am you, huh? What'd you do? I said until I got hip. I'm nervous. That's not one of my go tos, but. But you do say that, ready? Oh, you ready to pray? Yeah, In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's try it. Lord, it's delicious hot uh, <laughs> We got our phones. Oh, actually. We got our phones. Show them my case, it's so cute. And then I got a blue case. Very swaggy. Mm -hmm. Um, It was a pretty long process. Yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> Yeah, her phone was ready, my phone wasn't ready. It was a whole situation, but we're good. We got our phones, eating some lunch. Got our third wheel here still with us. Are you finished? Hey. I don't know. I don't even see. And then, um, 
I don't know what's after this. We gotta go get Savannah first. Well, you just have to see it and feel it. What type of person is Savannah get? That's and not a diaper Max. bag. And PJ Maxx yesterday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was actually looking at the red purses. I kind of want a red purse. I'm really loving red and cheetah print lately. I was actually, there was a cute cheetah print purse, but like the shape of it just wasn't right. Cheetah print or leopard? Is that the same thing? I don't know because I tried to say that one day and you said the exact same cheetah. I did? Okay, Three whatever. Glasses. Leopard cheetah, whatever. Or I want a red purse, kind of. Okay. And like it doesn't match with everything, but like that's what's fun. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was about to get a black rock. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no about to. You're in the frame. You're about, you are getting black rock. Well, I like bloom the best of everything. Hey, let me know. I'm like, I'm, I'm right here. Are you gonna get something? No, sweetheart. I'll just drink my bloom. Okay. Okay, this is my this is my issue. I love bloom so much the energy drinks. You guys know this. Is blue going right here? Wait, it says right? do not enter. Oh. Well that's they need to fix that. They look gotta at that. Fix Wait, let me let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm about to exit. This that bad do not enter sign is literally behind the tree that's and someone's crazy. gonna crash. Oh yeah, that's just an entrance. Okay, anyways. Um this is my dilemma. I love bloom. But I also, yes, yeah, blue energy. I like the greens too, but <laughs> the energy drinks are my favorite. And drinking those at home is great because it's honestly probably more affordable than if I were to get like a energy drink at like a coffee shop. It's like probably like six dollars or whatever for one. Mm -hmm. And anyways, but I love like going to get a fun drink. That like adds to the funness of it. Yeah. So. I feel like that's how a lot of you guys you include it, feel about coffee. Y'all just get it because it just adds to the experience of your morning. That is true. Like I know it, it's true. It adds and it like makes me happy. It fills me like, and I like the smell of coffee it, in the house. it doesn't taste good though. So yes, it does. You don't like it, Josh. No, no, no. Coffee. Even Starly likes coffee. She <laughs> always begs me for my coffee. I'm kidding. Actually, I'm not kidding, but she, I let her try it once and she literally spit it out and then she still asked me for it. Um, anyways, so we were literally about to go in the Black Rock drive through and then I was like, I just know I'm going to waste it because Bloom is just so much better. Then I go and spoil it all and, and say something, something stupid, stupid like I love you. Hi, Zeal. What's he doing? Oh, wait. One thing about this kid, he going to be up at the most inconvenient times. I love him so much. I'm so sad if this is our last baby. He's getting so big. You can say something. You don't have to go silent. Oh, I'm not, I got nothing to say. Ow, man. Yeah. All right. We are now bowling. Date night plus. And I'm here. <laughs> Auntie brought the beer. Probably like a dope little bowling alley out here. And we got the game on. Well, we got football on, but basketball is right there. Ain't going to be too much vlogging in here because the uh, copyright go crazy. That yawn is even crazier. Who randomly develops car sickness in their adult life? I'm car sick. I'm no. car sick. <laughs> yeah, you're wondering. I'm not in a car. No, I'm not in a car. I was just in a car and now I'm Wait, car sick. You feel car sick I'm right car now? I'm car sick, so. Oh, nice. It takes a minute to fade off. Nice. Do they bring us water automatically? That's a good question. I feel like we have to ask for that. No, I need some water. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, so you're a good bowler. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah. Last time you guys looked so lit up in my phone right now. So they illuminated me. I'm only a good bowler if I get like one good bowl. Like if I get like a strike, then like it goes straight to my head and then I start going downhill. Downhill. <laughs> okay. What kind of wings? What kind of wings are those? Parmesan garlic. Parmesan garlic, buffalo, and a loaded nacho. I wonder if they have anything healthy. And then, <laughs> this is what we order. Healthy. We aren't playing or bowling yet because our our lane isn't open yet. They haven't got it. So we'll see what happens with that. Hey, let me get your air mask. Hold on. Here we go, Des. I did it extra last time. Okay. Here's my strike. <laughs> Okay, 
Here we go. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> there you go. Nice, dude. Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> nice. Oh, a strike? How did you do that from the side? That's so annoying. Not that it matters, but um, not that it matters. Not, not, not that it matters. Josh, why are you strumming so much? I almost just fell. Yeah. I Good morning, y'all. Uh, 7.54 in the morning. This little guy. We ain't talking about it that much in this house. Actually, I'm going to just say it really quick and fly past it. But he's been sleeping through the night the whole week. Um, today is um, a bittersweet day. Actually, I don't think it's sweet at all. I mean, it's actually fine. It's an Alice event to tell y'all, but she is having another surgery today for her kidney stones. And it's not as invasive as the last one. It's not actually not that big, but it still is a surgery. I'll let her tell y'all, but she's resting right now. I'm trying to let her sleep in as much as possible because she um, can't drink or eat anything right now. Her window was like at like 6.50 a.m. was the last time she can have something to drink. And she actually, I actually woke her up at like 6.45 and said, babe, you want something to drink right now? This is your last chance. So um, she um, is sleeping in. Her surgery is like in a few hours. So hopefully I can let her sleep until then. Zill's up. I think Starley is waking up. Rye is still sleeping. That girl be going to sleep. Um, the, that girl be having to wake up every morning for school. But she doesn't have school today. So hopefully she can sleep in too. Catch up on some Z's. But... Let's make this little guy's bottle. <laughs> While Savannah's at her surgery, I'm going to try and get some work done. Shiloh Avenue Drop coming soon. Um, but right now it is in the design phase. So I need to work on that and solidify everything send it in today so we can um y'all can have the new stuff we drop in some apparel this time got some crew necks not crew necks actually we might have crew necks but zip ups some sweatpants of course some hats and we got stuff for the babies too for the toddlers and the kids the big kids all that stuff so that's uh some exciting stuff but i just need to finish it I get so like sidetracked and busy with other stuff, other work things, and it just needs to, it needs to happen. So that needs to happen today. And then we just gonna take care of Savannah. Make sure that she's all right, make sure she's good. She's probably gonna be resting for the whole weekend. And um, that's just gonna be that. Well, good morning, Starly. I wanna do it. Say hey. Hold on, baby. We're just gonna prop it up and everybody can talk. Right here. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we don't have to touch. You saying hi to mommy? Who are you saying hi to? I am in the way. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Hi. 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 
Hey, mommy. Alright, no fighting. What up, y'all? Um, right now we just left gymnastics, and right we're doing our uh, little ritual. We do this almost every time we go to gymnastics, but we get Chick Fil A afterwards. And I'm acting like we ain't gonna get Chick Fil A like in a few days after this either. Chick Fil A, something about Chick Fil A that is just it just seems acceptable to have more than once in a week. Uh, don't at me. You can't at me. It doesn't matter. But uh, I'll eat my Chick Fil A. But I only just got ride with me. Uh, Savannah stayed at the crib with Starly and Baby Boy, uh, mainly because we usually have help on Mondays. Um, they go to Grammys, and Grammy is actually in Hawaii right now, so um, she can't help out. So uh, usually everybody would come to gymnastics, but oh, you can't hear it. I'm sorry, baby. I was just talking really quick, and then I'll let you. I'll turn it up, okay? Um, but yeah. Also, Savannah's doing great. I'm going to let her probably end the vlog with telling about her kidney situation. And, um, but she, she did what she did and she did and she did it. I don't, I'm being like filming people. So Savannah's doing good. Can y'all hear me? Savannah's doing good. Um, the recovery process isn't as insane as the last situation. And, uh, I'll let her tell y'all that, but yeah, we're going to get some Chick-fil-A. And I think we're gonna take the girls to the library today. Rai wants to go to the library. And so we were like, let's just do a family trip to the library. And I think we gotta go to Target. But we always gotta go to Target. But um, ain't nothing new, no more, nothing less. So that's pretty much it. That's the update. For real, for real. More up. Okay, well, we're gonna get our food first and we gotta take it home so Sissy can have it too. And then we can go to the library, okay? Take a nap? Oh yeah, so you had to take a nap too. I didn't know you were, if you remembered that part. But yeah, we're gonna take a nap. Chwala. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering if we're okay today, the answer is no. No, not Zeal. Let me show you guys. Not Rye. Starly Jean. There's Josh and Starly. Last night. What's the, the time? Twelve twenty-two a.m. Uh, Ah. I just got a spray tan, so I'm sorry for the jump scare, but I don't know why my forehead's so shiny. Go ahead and tell them about your surgery. Okay, I'm not gonna, like, you'd be putting me in the most uncomfortable position. Okay, so how about this? You take the camera. What's on my hoodie? And you just figure it out. <laughs> so I'll, I'm here to help. I'm, just, I'm here to serve you. All right, everybody. I need to get myself a, a energy drink up in here. Um, where, where do we start? It's actually not that deep as last time. My kidney stones, I had two. I keep forgetting my kidneys mixed up. It doesn't really matter. I had two kidney stones in one of my kidneys and one kidney stone in the other kidney, okay? The ones on the, I think it was the right side. The ones on the right side, the two, were too large slash one exited my kidney into the urethra. Is it, if this is too much for you, just skip past this part, but it's, I'm going to give you the deeds. And that's what caused me like all the pain. And then I realized I had kidney stones, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the story if you know the story. I had surgery, got the two on, I think it was the left side actually, whatever, got those two removed and then I knew I still had one kidney stone in my right kidney and they were like less concerned about that one because it was quite a bit smaller but still like kind of on the cusp of five millimeters which when your kidney stone is larger than five millimeters it's sometimes you're able to pass them on your own which means just like you just pee it out which is crazy, um, sometimes you're not and I, I look so tired. I, um, what did I do? I, anyways, <laughs> you guys, I don't, I'm, I'm not okay. <laughs> okay, so I had like my six week follow up appointment for the surgery that I had on the two. And basically the surgeon was like, here's your options. And one of the options was to have another a second surgery where they perform, I don't know the technical term, it's basically like shock therapy and it breaks up the kidney stone into like really tiny, tiny fragments and then you will like pass them on your own and you won't even notice it is the goal, hopefully. Anyways, we talked through all the options. He suggested that if not, if I wouldn't have done the surgery, he thought just like with the size of the kidney stone and just like what happened with my other side, he was like, honestly, I think that if it does come out and I, he doesn't, good night. 
He didn't think I'd be able to pass it on my own. Long story short, the surgeon suggested that I have this other surgery and I had peace about it because it was gonna be way less recovery time as the last surgery. Like today, I honestly feel so much better than I have felt. I had the surgery on Friday and today's a, what day is it? Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So I feel so much better already in like how many ever days that is. And last time I had to have a stint put in. If you've ever had one of those, you just know. It's no bueno. And this time has been like a super pretty chill recovery. And I'm feeling good. So I'm happy that that's done. And then I'll have like a follow-up appointment in three weeks-ish. And then I'll do like another x-ray to see if all of the fragmented pieces have like exited from my body basically um so i just want to know and i need to call the doctor myself how do we prevent maybe this? i knew you were about to say this because everyone's on me they're like oh my gosh no one's you... on you some people are they're like coke causes kidney stones okay yes you don't even drink coke so i know exactly i'm not so, listening to them i'm gonna ask no you. i'm t i'm telling you and tell i already me. told you tell me that he thinks that my kidney stones were caused by my pregnancy there's something like, it's something hormonal that happens, a change in your body when you're pregnant, that kidney stones happen often in pregnant women and women that are postpartum. He he thinks that I probably developed them while I was pregnant and that I shouldn't... It's not diet-related. It's not... Kidney stones, the thing is, they're so unpredictable. It's really hard to pinpoint exactly what they're from, but he thinks that they're pregnancy-related and that I won't ever have to deal with them again, and that's why he... He did? Yeah. I never knew that. And that's why he's he suggested this surgery to, like, break it up, to just get it out and just be done with it. Because if not... I've been like fine, but he was like, you'll have to live with knowing that you have that. And then at any moment you can be in that pain again. So, but I might, I ain't trying to deal with that. Huh? I don't want to deal with that. So I just want to know for me, what do I need to do to prevent? Oh, you don't want to have kidney stones? No. Well, I mean, I guess nobody wants no, to No, babe, there's stones. so many things that can cause them and like everybody's different. This is literally what they told me. Like they can't be like. Do X, Y, and Z. You can there get are things to prevent it. Like I mean, drink a lot of water and all that stuff. Baby, just drink a lot of water in general for your health, but that doesn't prevent kidney stones. Long story short, hopefully I never have kidney stones again. And one of the nurses, when I went in for the second surgery, she was like, I have to ask you because, you know, I've had three kids. She's like, I always hear people say that kidney stones are worse than labor. And I need to hear it from someone that's actually given birth. And I think that that initial like pain, the excruciating pain when like the, it's kind of when the stone is moving or whatever, I can confirm that that's worse than labor. And I think a big factor that goes into play for me is the fact that like, I didn't know what was happening with my body and I was just in this horrible pain. With birth, I obviously know like, okay, I'm giving birth and that I'm gonna have like the best reward ever after. Kidney stones, you get no reward. So that's what I think kind of like factors in. But yeah, I will say childbirth, kidney stones, the pain is, almost equivalent. How y'all doing? Okay. <laughs> My wife is about to have surgery and um, this is her mood. I know you guys are shocked. I'm shocked as well. Why? What are we having surgery for today? My kidney stone. <sighs> Again. She had a kidney stone surgery like a month ago. Now the doctor recommended to get the other one out. Yeah, I wish they could have just done both sides at the same time, but apparently the recovery is a lot worse if you do both at the same time. So I'm just doing one side and I gotta do the other. Are we nervous? No. No. We peaceful. The joy of the Lord. We got the joy of the Lord. Yeah. Got the peace of the Lord. Ah, my back. Honestly, what the real problem is, I hurt my hip bowling last night. If you want to insert a video of it, my sister said that the way to bowl is like shlang your leg up, and I just hurt my hip. <laughs> so we need to operate on that. She's about to do amazing. Y'all send her some prayers. I want you to come in the operating room. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you going? Give you a kiss. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Don't oh. leave. Ow. <laughs>